With the trust of our customers is Kido Group. Ding Viet Energy Company, at its own expense, invested in one complete boiler system to supply steam to a subsidiary of Kido Group with a steam capacity of 20 tons of steam per hour. Our self-investment categories include complete steam boiler system and boiler housing, as well as connecting the steam pipeline, which can be used to return water pipe to the factory's production line. Divi Group produces and supplies our customers' production with clean and efficient steam. The amount of steam used by our customers will be measured through a steam flow meter. Customers can issue payment directly through Divi Group, just like buying electricity from EVN and buying water from a water plant. This boiler is a fluidized bed boiler specializing in biomass combustion made by Ding Viet Boiler Company, or DV Boiler, a member of DV Group. Here we will go into each part of the biomass fuel-fired fluidized bed boiler system as follows. We will first go into the boiler feed system. Fuel is put into the negative hopper by a wheel loader. Then the fuel will be transported by the conveyor belt to the feed mouth and into the combustion chamber of the boiler. In this project, fuel supply for the boiler is mainly chopped firewood. In addition, the boiler can use many other types of biomass fuels such as sawdust, crushed rice husks, cashew residues and indo coal. Oxygen is supplied to the combustion process by level 1 and level 2 fan blowers. The fuel is burned to form a stream of hot smoke that goes up and into the boiler body after exchanging radiant heat in the combustion chamber. In the combustion chamber, 40 to 50% of the steam is generated by radiant heat exchange through steam generating water pipes. At the boiler body, the steam is generated by the heat exchange process of the horizontal and submerged fire tubes inside of this round cylinder body. This is the door of the back smoke box. We can use this door to clean the fire tubes in the furnace body, and we can also replace these fire tubes quickly and conveniently. Let's try to feel the surface of this smoke box. You see, it's not hot at all. We've insulated it thoroughly to ensure a minimal heat loss from the boiler. The flow of smoke after heat exchange in the furnace body will continue to be put into a heater to heat the water before being supplied to the furnace. The water heater will help us bring the boiler feed water temperature up to 150 degrees C, thereby helping us to save a significant part of the fuel cost. After the water heater, the smoke stream will be introduced into an air drying unit to utilize the excess heat in the smoke to heat the air up to 120 degrees C. Thus, the combustion of the fuel will take place faster and more efficiently, even if our fuel has a high moisture content. After exhaustive heat has been fully utilized, the smoke will be put through the cyclone filter to separate and recover dust. Here, more than 85% of the ash particles will be recovered. This cloth bag dust filter will help recover 100% of the ash in the smoke stream before being released into the environment. These are the ash collection hoppers and the rotating valves to continuously expel ash from the system. Next is the exhaust fan system, thanks to which the smoke stream can flow from the combustion chamber to the heat utilizing devices behind the furnace. This is a sprinkler tower dust collector. We installed this dust suppression sprayer to increase the redundancy of the boiler ash handling system. Here, 100% of the ash is recovered by the Venturi spray system. The recovered ash will be deposited under the tank and periodically removed. Clean smoke is discharged into the environment through the chimney. This condensate tank will store water collected from the production line and at the same time store the treated water here and wait for the pumping system to automatically feed into the boiler following the steam demand of the plant. Our water treatment unit utilizes cationic filtration technology which uses salt and chemicals to prevent corrosion and prevent scaling in the boiler. The water supply pump system for the boiler will automatically supply water to the heater and to the boiler through the water level sensor on the furnace body. This is the water level sensor system in the boiler with pressure gauge and pressure and temperature sensor. And this is the valve system installed on the boiler body. 
all of which have been carefully selected and evaluated for quality control over the years. And here is the blowdown system of the boiler. Standing here, we can operate the blowdown valve to all necessary positions of the boiler. In order for the whole system to work effectively, we must have a professional control system. Thus, this is the control cabinet for the boiler. All parameters are entered and controlled through this touchscreen. All motors are fitted with inverters for maximum power savings. Our switchgear and electrical cabinet components are all from famous Japanese and European brands to ensure the reliability of the control system. Please note, the control room must be installed in a closed and air-conditioned room to ensure the most stable and reliable operation of the electrical system. Well, now let's see how realistic this boiler's exhaust is. Definitely, the exhaust smoke from our fluidized bed boiler manufactured by Divi Boiler can ensure absolute environmental protection. Divi Group is willing to contribute a part of our efforts to the government to commit to reducing greenhouse gas emissions under the Paris Agreement that Vietnam has joined to combat climate change. Divi Group, bringing prosperity to our companions from green energy.